Hey guys, it's your boy the B-Minus Gamer and this is my career mode update update. Today I'm bringing you the February 13th, 2015 updates. If you guys are unfamiliar with the series, every single time EA releases a update to the players uh, for career mode, I go ahead, I look through the players and try to bring to attention the players that got buffed, the players that got nerfed, uh, some players that got added that might pique your interest. And yeah, so essentially it's kind of just helping those uh, career mode people that are starting new career modes. To try to help you out the first section that i'm going to talk about is the players that got the nerf bat all right all right and the first up channing sports is not going to be happy because his favorite german international and the liverpool man has gotten a negative three overall to his stats he can play center back and cdm his potential is still very high though we're going to go ahead and bring it down to his stats and as you can see as we see here on he gets a negative three but it doesn't say anything on this side it might be a little bit of a glitch um, doesn't say that he actually has any decreases in his stats, so this one's a little bit weird. The next noteworthy guy, and we don't really have to talk about him all that much, but Mario Gotze is getting a negative one in his overall potential. I don't know why, I guess his play has been dropped off a little bit. None of his stats actually have been really affected. It's just he has that injury prone trait and I guess that's taken down a little bit of his potential. Still a class player, I mean he has a potential of 90. It's not really going to affect him all that much. And the last guy that we're looking at is the FIFA 14, FIFA 13 god. How the mighty have fallen, El Shirari. Stefan El Shirari gets a negative one overall. Uh, still pretty high potential, still playing for Milan. Pretty nasty nerf right here as you can see in his stats. He's getting negative one of all his. Negative two to sprint speed, negative four to reactions, negative one to balance. Negative force above vision and positioning. Negative one to shot power. Negative two to stamina and negative two to long shots. Again, I guess one of these players he's got the injury prone trait. I guess it's just uh, a lot of injuries are, are bringing him down. I guess he's coming back from injury. Usually FIFA brings their stats back up if they show a little bit of form. So hopefully he can recover in future updates. And now on to the buff section. And for the first guy in the buff section, I wanted to go ahead and take a look at this guy. He's just. He was one of the top youngsters in the beginning of the season when this game first came out. I think he, he was overall like 68 or something or hovering around a 70 and he is just getting some recent major boosts. This guy must be killing it at FC Basel right here and that is Briel Donald Mbolo. And you can see right here plus one to overall plus one to potential. Out of the last three updates, Donald Briel Mbolo has been updated twice. And as you can see some, not a lot of upgrades, but pretty nice upgrades. Plus two to finishing, plus two to heading accuracy and plus six to volleys. He must have hit a nice little... Uh, volley long shot because he's getting plus three long shots as well so getting a little bit more of that distance shooting in him and a little bit better at finishing and I just like that potential now 87 pretty pretty hefty pretty pretty hefty uh, a guy that everybody almost a must buy in career modes now Donald Brian Bolo next up a guy who has been on fire in the Bundesliga playing for Wolfsburg Getting a plus one, plus one, as you can see, overall going up to an 84, potential going up to an 88. The goddamn Belgians did it again. Kevin De Bruyne is just absolutely murdering it. Let's go ahead and look at his stats that he's getting upgraded in this update. Plus two to finishing, bringing his finishing up to 80. Gosh, just look at these stats already. Plus 30 reactions, so he's always going to be on it. Plus two to, to shot power going, giving him to an 84. Plus 3 to long shots, and man, oh man, just look at all those stats. He can cross, he can finish, he can do long shots, he can do free kicks. Actually, his free kicks, yeah, his free kicks ain't even bad. Plus 1 to positioning, plus 1 to vision. I mean, he's easily, easily, he's got the long pass to trade, the long shot taker. And let's look at the positions he can play. He can play cam and any of the left or right mids. You can put him anywhere pretty much in the midfield, and this guy is just going to be kicking ass. One of the best, most well-rounded uh, uh, cams in the game, if not the best cam in the game, Kevin De Bruyne. Ooh. The man, the myth, the legend, Danny Ings, the man from Burnley who's having just an incredible season in the Barclays Premier League is getting his due right here, getting a plus one to his overall. He can only play the striker position and there's only three star weak foot and three star uh, skill moves. From the look at these stats, uh, a lot more well-rounded as a striker, a lot better as a provider and getting into better positions. As you can see, a plus four to balance, which is always nice. Boosting his balance up to a, a very strong 82, getting a little bit better on the long passing. Plus one to ball control, plus two to crossing, plus one to finishing, bringing bring up to a very respectable 77. And plus two to those volleys, still could be a little bit higher on those volleys. And plus two to long shots, not bad, not bad. It's got the flare and technical dribbler. And he plays Burnley, so he isn't the most effective, but a very cheap, very good player. As you can see, 89 acceleration, 89 speed, 84 balance, pretty good agility, dribbling, and ball control. 
Another striker getting his due. I don't know if you guys really know about this guy, but Davi Selke or Selke, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but he's 19 years old and he's getting a plus one to his roll and a plus two to his potential. Plays for Warden Bremen in the Bundesliga. Only two on the skill moves and three star weak foot, but he's got some pretty nice stats. As you can see, he is definitely a very well-rounded striker. Nothing in the green, but a lot of upgrades. Plus one to sprint speed, plus two to reactions, plus one to balance, plus five to curve, plus two to ball control, plus three to crossing, plus one to finishing, heading accuracy, short passing, get, both getting plus ones. A volley. Apparently, he got a weaker foot. He got a negative to a one to shot power, which is a nice, but a plus one to stamina, plus two to long shots, and plus three to vision. Uh, got none of those traits, but looks like a very good, very uh, well-rounded all-round striker. If you are looking for one of those, pretty good potential. Remember the name, Davy Selke. A lot of buffs, a lot of positive buffs in this patch. And we're going to go ahead and look at the man from Valencia Football Club in La Liga. And he is getting plus one, plus one in potential and overall. And that is Jose Gaia. Let's go ahead and look at his stats right here that he is getting an upgrade in. So unfortunately, he's getting a negative one to jumping, but he's getting a monstrous plus five to strength. Apparently, he has been hitting the weight room indeed, getting a plus three long passing, plus two to ball control. Very nice. Will help him out in that left mid position. A plus one to balance, plus two to marking, plus two to slide tackling. Definitely a very, very strong ca candidate for one of the better left backs in the game. Plus three to, to aggression and plus five to positioning. He has definitely uh, earned himself some stripes. Just a great, well-rounded left back and uh, in a pinch can actually play that left mid position, Jose Gaia. Next guy up on the list, it's good to see him healthy and I think he's getting this plus one, plus one just for that audacious, dirty, filthy free kick that he had for Bayern last weekend and that is David Alaba. He plays the left back, can play center mid, can play CDM. He can just play pretty much anywhere. You guys know it, but he's getting the plus one overall, plus one to potential. Let's go ahead and look at his stats. And looky, looky, it's not too much to get him that plus one, plus one, but he's got uh, plus three to, to heading accuracy, bring that up to 74, which is great for a left back. Plus two to long shots, yeah. that I think he got that plus two just on that free kick alone. Plus one regression, plus one to interceptions, bringing it up to a very, very uh, hefty 84 to interceptions. Man, he is good. Uh, plus one to slide tackle and plus one to marking already. Both of those defending, all those defending stats are pretty much in the 80s already. And uh, we'll easily tap in those 80s. David Alaba, if he wasn't back already, he is definitely back now. And the last two that I want to touch on, as you can see, Daily Blind not getting much of an upgrade in his overall or his potential. But look, they finally upgrade, they finally acknowledge that Daily Blind can actually hit a shot from outside. He's got plus 12 to volleys and plus 12 to long shots. EA is just finally acknowledging that every once in a while Daily Blind can hit one in. But, uh, but still, apparently, terrible finishing. 41 finishing. Come on, EA. Come on. You got to boost that up. I mean, 41 finishing. There are center backs that finish better than Daily Blend. This is ridiculous now. And winner for the most ridiculous stat increases of the week is gonna go to this guy, the Argentine, Pablo Piatti, who plays, also plays for Valencia Football Club. And look, he's not getting a plus one, plus one to potential R overall, but we can go ahead and scroll down to his stats and you can see some really weird stuff right here. Apparently, he's gonna get plus two to short passing. He's been messing that up. He's getting plus 9 to strength. Man, this guy has been taking steroids or something. Plus 10 to his long passing. Plus 25 to interceptions. Plus 29 to marking. 25 to sand tackle. And 25 to slide tackling. What the hell did this guy do over the weekend to earn himself such great? Like, he's, got in, he's gotten plus 29 to marking. What was he doing before? Did he just, I like, the only way that you could have had lower marking than that is that you actively ran away from your player that you were supposed to mark. Uh, well done, Pablo Piatti, for actually learning to defend someone. Good job. And for you guys who want some cheap eats and some cheap speed, we got a guy for you right here, Kang Su Il. He was taken out around late September, but now he is back. As you can see, not the greatest overall, 65, 68. So this guy's for your lower tier teams. And be like, what? He's only 66 and he's 26. Why is he all that great? Well, if you're a lower tier team, this is what's interesting. He's got a four star skill move, so that's very interesting. And you can go ahead and scroll down, and this makes him even more interesting. If you like that cheap speed, 91 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 82 agility, 69 reactions. Not the best balance, but pretty good dribbling, pretty good ball control. Got the got that speedster straight, and amazing stamina at 85, and really great jumping. 
at 88 and pretty darn good strength at 77 this guy is a cheap little beast if you guys need a discount beast on your wings or a, a nice little super sub in the striking position that can just run for days you guys remember this name right here Kang Su Il and the other cheap beast that I got for you this week uh, is this guy who got added Mei Malongu uh, and he is going to be playing for the Torque Koyuspor? Konyuspor? I don't know. <laughs> and if you look at his overall his potential, only 71 to 74, not the best. Weak foot, three foot, uh, three star weak foot, and two star skill moves, so not the best. So nothing too spectacular, but here's the interesting about this guy. He plays the central midfield position, and his stats look like this. A central midfielder who has 86 acceleration, 90 speed, 84 agility, 79 reactions, and 81 to balance. Not the best dribbling and ball control, no, but those are just audacious movement stats for a central midfielder. That is just ridiculous. And look, 93 stamina, 84 jumping, and 78 shot power, and 71 short passing. And pretty good long passing as well. This guy is just flying all over. He's got the engine specialty, which is one of my favorite specialties that you can have in the game. Um, not the best in defensive, not the best as uh, in defensive stats right there. But as a central midfielder, man, he's just going to be flying around your midfield. A great little cheap beast. You guys remember this name, Mei Malongu. And that is it for my career mode update update. Hopefully I informed you guys on some of the biggest changes that has uh, happened to career mode in this patch update. Unfortunately, I can't cover anyone, so if I left out anything big, go ahead, leave a comment down below on what I missed, and I'll bring it up in the next episode or leave an annotation to it, and you can inform other people. And as we close out, let us bow our heads in memory of those FIFA players that are no longer. They have been deleted from the player database, and today... We are bowing our heads in memory of Ray Val Morrison, the former Manchester United youth product who went to West Ham and has recently transferred out. A moment of silence for those who are no longer with us. This has been your boy, the B-Minus Gamer, and until next time, stay humble. As we all know, Luton Town was, of course, uh, called Luton Town because it was founded by pirates and Vikings. In 1602, famously, the pirate king Blackbeard fell in love with the Viking god of thunder, Chris Helmsworth. Yarr.